you're looking for your first data scientist job, but you're having a hard time finding one. The truth is that the job market is very, very competitive, especially for entry level roles. I mean, most entry level jobs are now asking for two, three years of experience. Make it make sense to me. Oftentimes when you think about landing your first job, you're often thinking about, okay, you will apply to a job, wait to hear back, interview. If you pass the interview, you will get the job offer and then you'll start working. But what most people don't know is that that's not the only way to land your first job as a data scientist or any other career in tech or beyond. So in this video, I'm going to share how I landed my first job as a data scientist without following the traditional path. So in this video, I'm going to share my untraditional path to finding my first data scientist job with the hopes that it will help you in your job search and in your journey, whether you are pursuing data science or software engineering or web development or anything outside of tech. I hope this is helpful. Back in 2014, I graduated from college and started as a data engineer. My primary work was building data pipelines from end to end, as well as building dashboards that will be used by other business and marketing teams for understanding what's happening in the business. I did that for two years. And then one day I did a side project that was more focused on data analytics. The project was understanding customer sign-in rate from different devices. For example, how does the customer sign-in rate varies when they are on mobile device versus when they are on desktop? and how it varies when they come from Google or they come from another search channel or they come from uh, social media, like what does the sign-in date looks like? This was a very data analytics focused project, but what it ended up doing for me, it opened the door of data analytics and data science for me because I became very, very curious after this project and I started reading up more into the data science ladder as a whole. I wish I had done that before I started working as a data engineer, but better late than never. Eventually, after doing some research, I realized that I want to become a data scientist. So I had few options. Either I quit my job and go back to school and start from scratch. Or two, which is one of the advice that my mentor gave me, is learn on the job. So what I ended up doing, I started looking for a data science team that was looking for a data engineer. And at that time, I got very lucky because the manager that was hiring me was specifically looking for data engineering skill set, but was also willing to help me learn. So I pitched myself. I said like, Hey, I'll help you do these projects for data engineering. Eventually my career goal is that I want to transition into data scientist role for me. And what that did for me is I utilized my strength as a data engineer to build the reputation in the team, build trust among peers. And then I started learning from my peers work. I started attending those meetings. I started asking a lot of questions. I started reviewing the work that my coworkers have done. Eventually came to a point where I could define my own curriculum and was able to like learn what a data scientist does, go home and learn in my own time through online resources. And then eventually when I was ready, when I knew enough, I would okay, come back think? and pitch Overall. project ideas that I could contribute to that are more data scientist focused and have my manager's approval and my teammates agreement that they will let me do that project. Now, before we talk about how this can be applied to you, I wanted to take a quick moment and thank our sponsor for this portion of the video, Simply Learn. Let's say if you're just trying to start your career in data science and looking for a structured program, then definitely look into Simply Learn's data science program, which is ranked number one by Career Karma in the USA and developed in partnership with IBM, which makes it practical based on industry standards. In addition to teaching the material, it has exclusive hackathons, master classes, ask me anything sessions, and covers topics such as Python, SQL, Excel, machine learning, Tableau, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and more. Going through the curriculum, you can clearly see how practical it is. It teaches SQL, Python, applied Python, machine learning, Tableau, and ends with a capstone project. You also have the option to choose electives. For example, you can take electives in statistics, Power BI and R, which means you can customize your learning. It is also ranked number one bootcamp. It has 4.5 star rating by SwitchUp, 4.4 star rating by Course Report. At the end of this program, you get a certificate. And if you do end up choosing this program, then I highly recommend that you do additional projects on top of the certificate to get that hands-on experience because I am personally a huge advocate of learning the theoreticals, but applying it on actual work. So the learning stays with you. Link to the course in the description below. Now let's go back to the video. So after doing some projects, I had my portfolio built. 
I learned from my teammates. I learned from their work. I learned online. I asked a lot of questions to my peers. I asked a lot of questions to my manager. And eventually, after some time, within a span of a year, I had done enough projects that I felt confident and independent and I could do work of an entry-level data scientist on my own. Then I worked with my manager to build a case and take it to HR to formally transition me to the data scientist ladder. What ended up happening here is that the HR person was like, she does not have a PhD, she does not have a master's in data science, so we're not gonna transition her. And that's when my manager fought for me and he convinced the HR that if she can actually do the work of an entry-level data scientist, then why do you need a degree program? Now, I did get lucky in this instance where my manager was advocating for me. He stood up for me. It's difficult to find those people, but believe me, those people are out there. And once you find them, don't let go of them. So eventually, I transitioned to the data scientist ladder. My pay scale changed and my formal title in internal tool formally changed to the title data scientist. Now the story may make it sound like too easy, but it wasn't that easy. It was years of work, years of networking, smart networking, and a lot of support and community around me that helped me transition into data scientist. So now at this point, you're probably like, why am I telling you this? Maybe this doesn't even apply to you. The whole point of me telling the story to you so you can think outside of the box. Just know that uh, applying uh, to a job like and insurance. interviewing there is not the only then, way to land your first job. Whether you are trying to get, enter data analytics field, data scientist field, software engineering field, or any other field, there are other creative ways where you can create an opportunity for yourself and create a path for you. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. It is going to be difficult, and that's where you'll have to get smarter. And now, when I started this video, I did not say this is an easy path. It is going to be a little bit difficult, but when things are competitive, that's where you need to become more creative and think outside of the box so you can pave a path for yourself and transition into your dream career. Let me know in comments what are some other untraditional creative paths to transitioning your career, whether that is data science or some other career ladder. Let me know in comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.